Hello everyone, this is Mark with YouTube. I just wanted to do a quick video today on how to install antivirus software. Today's antivirus software is through Avast. That's A-V-A-S-T, Avast.com. And we're going to go ahead and start by opening our Internet Explorer to find Avast.com. We're going to go and do that. Open the Internet Explorer. My homepage is through Yahoo, and I do suggest going through Yahoo to search for the software. It's the best way to do it. So once we got Yahoo open through the search bar, we're going to go ahead and type download Avast. Go ahead and hit enter. As you see, uh, I already have it here. It says download free Avast or download free antivirus software Avast Home Edition. And as you see on the bottom, it shows the link www.avast.com slash English download Avast Home. So now you really know that that is Avast.com. If you see the second one, it just takes you to, to the Avast.com. It doesn't take you to the download link. So we're going to go and click the download free software one. And here's the page where it says the same deal, uh, download free Avast uh, or antivirus software, Avast Home Edition. You scroll down and you see it shows here uh, download uh, Avast Home Edition Universal. We don't want to download that. We want to download the English version of Avast. So we're going to click the second one. Click download. Now you can close out of your Internet Explorer to get that out of the way. Next, we're going to go ahead and click run, or you can save it to the desktop. Go ahead and save it to the desktop. I already have it. Click yes for me. And uh, once the download is complete, we're going to click run. And we're going to run the software and do the installation. All right, download's almost complete. We're going to click Run, and I'll walk you through the steps. Here we go. All right, you might have another pop up with your firewall. Go ahead and click Run again. You'll see the install setup start to come up. This is the About Avast setup. Click Next. Read me. Go ahead and click Next. It's very simple. Again, this is a license agreement. You want to go ahead and read that if you want to take your time to do that. It tells you stuff about the agreement and the uh, product, the software. Click I agree. Click next. The next uh, vast uh, installation deal is going to be the destination. Uh, you can change this destination to wherever you want on your hard drive or if you want to put it to a secondary drive. I just keep it where it is. Click next again. Go ahead and leave it on typical installation or configuration. Click next again. Installation information will tell you what it's about to install. Click next again. Now the installation is in progress. We're going to go ahead and let it install. Once it installs, uh, the computer will restart. But before it does, it's going to ask you a question. And it's going to be a yes or no question. The yes or no question is basically telling you it's going to start up before it starts Windows, it's going to do a scan. As you see here, it says, do you wish to schedule a boot time? Just say no to that. Save you some time. Because it does that when it does the virus checks. So go ahead and click restart now. So we're going to go ahead and restart the computer, and I'll be right back and show you the result. Now, before I do that, I want to show you this little screen here on the bottom. If your antivirus has run out, it'll show a Windows security alert. Don't worry about that. That is just Windows. So we'll be back after the computer restarts. Hey guys, welcome back. We have restarted the computer. And as you can see, we have a welcome to a vast home edition screen popping up. Go ahead and click OK on that. Let it start up. It may actually do an update right away. Uh, it may not. It may take a while to do your update. Uh, once it does, it'll tell you that the antivirus software has been updated. Uh, what we want to do is I want to actually show you how to install the antivirus key if it hasn't already been installed. What you want to do is you want to go to get your key. A lot of times uh, the computer won't allow you to paste it in uh, by typing it in, so you have to paste it in. So that's what I meant to say. And you may also get this uh, protection pop-up. Just go ahead and close those pop-ups. They just come up once the installation is done. So go ahead and get your key, copy it. Make sure you write it down on a notepad or something and then copy it. 
because that's really the only way to work. Go ahead and copy your key. All right, now we're going to go ahead and once you have the key copied, we're going to go to that little A in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We're going to right click, go to Avast, or About Avast, left click. And as you see, this little screen pops up. There's a place where it says License Key. Click on that. Go ahead and inside the where it says Enter Your License Key, right click and paste. And you see, before I did that, it updated, which is good because we at least we know it's updating. So if you heard that, if, if you heard the virus database has been updated, that's the way it should sound. Um, if you haven't, it'll tell you a virus database has been updated. Go ahead and click OK once you've entered the key. As you see, the license key has been successfully uh, entered. You know, it'll tell you that it's been successfully entered, uh, inserted, whatever. Click OK. Click OK again. And you're done. That's the completion of the installation of Avast uh, antivirus software. If you have any questions on how to do something, go ahead and email me directly at databytes at yahoo.com and I will post a video on it through YouTube and my website, uh, which will soon be operational at databytesservices.com. It is in its current stage of construction. Um, so when you go there, you'll probably see it says under construction, but all of my videos will have my website in the description from now on, uh, direct link to it. So once again, comment and rate on this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a pleasant day.